And time now for Ask the Expert. Millions of teenagers are striking out on their own in just a few weeks, going off to college with their PPs and J's. Yeah, there is one important <laughs> lesson many have not learned. That is money management. Local financial professional Dean Listel says now is the time to do that financial cramming before you get to college. So, you know, you've been through all this schooling so far, and you still don't know these fundamentals. Well, part of the reason is, unfortunately, uh, money management really isn't taught at a lot of schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, the result of that is glaring, and I'll use an example of my own two kids. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, I have Tyler and Luke, who are both in college. However, when they graduated from high school, neither one of them knew the difference between a, a debit card and a credit card. Mm -hmm. They didn't know why you had to have a checking account in place. And they thought their savings account was their sock drawer. Okay, uh, Dad, what are you doing over there? That's not unusual. <laughs> I have to. I have to come clean though and let you know that they're business majors and have done better since. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but with that in mind, uh, the the problem we have is when we send these uh, these students off to college, they're making major financial decisions at college. They're going to have to live with for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. So let's start them off on the right foot financially. And they get bombarded with credit card offers. So what should college freshmen know about money management when they get there? First of all, let's look at the basics. Uh, the first thing is a budget. Make sure a budget's in place. A budget is the, the foundation for any financial plan, and it's relatively easy. People uh, think it's too hard. It's really income and expenses. You manage those on a monthly basis. You can go to my website at srsplans.com and download for free a budget worksheet. That'll help you out. Second item is, is really uh, just as easy, and that's a savings and a checking account. Mm -hmm. A savings account many times is a first opportunity for somebody to save money. Five, 10, 15 bucks, you're taking it out of your front pocket, you're putting it away. You need to have a checking account because you have to pay those bills on a monthly basis. Right. Important thing here too though is make sure that you balance these at the end of every month. Otherwise you have overdraft charges or possibility of bounce checks. Okay, so they're the basics. Get a little bit more complicated with the decision to go with a credit card. When you go with a credit card, you've got uh, potentially thousands of dollars that are granted to you. It's a loan. People right. don't understand that a credit card's a loan. Make sure you read the fine print though. What about the credit card that just has the set balance on it? The set balance. $200 and then you're out. That set balance is a good thing to have. Great way to start. But the other thing too is make sure you get a credit card that has no annual fee mm -hmm. or has very, very low penalty fees. And the bottom line with a credit card is only put on a credit card what you can pay off the next month. Mm. If you're not able to do that, you're, you're treading some, some, some water here. You've you got shouldn't. student loans up here as well, really quickly. And I know students come out of school with some pretty crushing student loan debt. Does that kind of set them back for the stuff that they need to do in the next step in life, like maybe saving for retirement when they're 22, 23 years old? Absolutely. What it does do is it hurts their credit score. But there's a really neat thing you can do with student loans. Student loans, while you're in school, if you can pay the interest down, just the interest, that will shorten the term and the life that you're going to pay on that loan later on. Okay. So it's a really good thing to do. Good advice, Dean. Thanks for coming in today. Got a question for him or any of our experts? Here's how you do it. Ask the expert at TMJ4.com, or you can leave a voicemail at that number.